Starting with version 5.6, Sage Backpack ERP now includes Sage Backpack Intelligence, a powerful Excel-based reporting and analysis tool. Sage Backpack Intelligence can pull information from any of your Sage Backpack modules. This is a key differentiator between this new reporting tool and the Backpack Financial Reporter, which only extracts information from your general ledger. A number of reports come standard with the product, and in this tutorial, we'll focus on the dashboard report. Note that you can edit the report templates as well as create your own. So now let's jump in and take a look. The first thing you should notice is that Sage Backpack Intelligence is accessed from the menu tree, just like any other Sage Backpack module. As you can see, there are a number of icons associated with it, but in this tutorial, we'll be looking only at the Report Manager. As we just mentioned, a number of reports are included with the system. Let's take a quick look by double-clicking the folders, and we're provided several Analysis Cube reports, a dashboard, financial reports including a trend analysis, an inventory master, metrics and key performance indicator reports, consolidations, a purchase master, and a sales master. So again, out of the box, you get a lot of reports to work with, and importantly, you can create new ones. Now let's focus on the dashboard report. When we highlight the report, we're presented with instructions and information about it. To generate the report, we'll go up to the toolbar and hit the Run button. Before the report can generate, we need to enter date and currency parameters. And based on our sample data set, Let's enter a start date of 2020 and January and the first, and now the current month end, which will be in 2020, and we'll make it June and the 30th. And for currency, we'll select US dollars in our single currency sample database. And now when we click OK, the report begins to generate. The dashboard report pulls information from a number of your Sage Backpack modules, so it'll take several moments for it to run. Once it's finished, we're taken to an instruction page, but let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard by selecting it from the worksheet tabs. You'll receive a pop-up message that essentially says you need to map the account groups that you've set up in your Sage Backpack general ledger to the GL category codes used by the dashboard report. We'll click Yes to do that now, and we're taken to the Category tab. Let's close the pop-up message and take a look at this screen. On the left side are the account groups that we've defined in our ACPAC GL, and on the right are the GL category codes used for this report. We'll click on our GL Sales Revenue Account Group and map it to the Revenue category from the report by selecting number 8. And we'll do this for the remaining accounts, but to speed this up, We'll type in the numbers rather than use the drop down selector. Now that we've mapped the accounts, let's go ahead and view the dashboard by clicking its worksheet tab. The standard dashboard shows your profit and loss, top expenses, top customers, top items, and bottom items. You can also drill down on the customers and items to see the underlying data. To do this, we'll highlight one of our customers, the courtyard and go up to the menu bar and click Add-ins, then Report Tools, and select Drill Down. We need to select the drill down that we want to see from this pop-up window, and in this case, we want to see Customers, and now we'll click Execute. It takes a couple of seconds to generate, and here's the result. Let's resize the columns so you can see what we've got here. From the drill down, we can see all of the items that this customer has purchased within the dates we selected, along with associated document, salesperson, quantity, currency, and price. You can also easily copy this data to Excel with a number of options available. Now let's close this and drill down into an item. Again, we go back to Report Tools, Drill Down, and this time we want Select by Item and hit Execute. And again, we'll resize the columns. And here we can see all customers that purchased the selected item 
within the dates we specified earlier. Now, if we were to close the dashboard report and rerun it, we would find that we'd have to once again map the GL accounts as we did earlier. The reason is that the standard reports that come with the application are locked, so you're not able to edit them. So any mappings and settings we make have to be repeated each time we run the report. In order to make our mappings and any settings stick, we need to make a copy of the report and do the mappings on the copy, but importantly, we only have to do this once. So let's go back to the Report Manager and walk through the steps for creating the editable copy. Let's first make a folder where we'll put our copied report. To do this, we'll right-click on Home and select Add Folder, and let's call it My Reports. Now let's copy the dashboard report by right-clicking and select Copy, and going back to My Reports, we'll right-click and paste. Notice that the properties are now editable because we're working with a copy. Let's go ahead and change the report name, and we'll simply call it Dashboard, and click Apply. You'll get a pop-up about deleting or saving previous templates. We'll go with the default recommended option. Now let's run the report. And once again, we'll enter the fiscal year start date, and we'll select 2020 for the year, and January, and the first is already selected, and for the current month end, 2020, and June, and the 30th, and finally, we'll select our currency, and now we'll click OK. And as before, it takes several moments for the report to generate. Now let's go straight to the Categories tab and map the GL accounts. Remember that the whole point of going through the effort of making a copy of this report is to avoid having to map our accounts each time we run the dashboard. Now let's jump over to the Dashboard tab, but we're not finished yet. We have one more important step, and that's to save this version of the report as our template. To do this, we need to leave the Dashboard report open, and now we'll go back to the Report Manager. Here we need to right-click on the report and select Create and Link Template. You'll be asked which of the open Excel files should be used as the template, and here of course we only have one open, which we'll select and click OK. And to this question about placing parameters on a second worksheet, we'll say yes, and we'll accept dashboard.xlt as the template name. Now we receive a notification that this file already exists and it gives us the option to replace it with the new file, and we'll click Yes. Now the template begins to generate, and this should take a few moments to complete. And finally, we receive a notification that the template was created and linked to the dashboard report. So now when we run the copy of this report, the dashboard will generate and open directly to the dashboard worksheet. So to recap, Sage Backpack ERP now includes Sage Backpack Intelligence, a powerful reporting and analysis tool. Now that we've shown you how to configure and run the included dashboard report, we encourage you to take a look at the other reports included with the system. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage Backpack system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.